It's Thursday Night Football between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Houston Texans. We break down the game, give you our best bet, and it all starts right now. Hey guys, it's Matt from GrandSandBetters.com and week 9 of the NFL season starts with Thursday Night Football between the Eagles and Texans in prime time. We're going to get to our pick and prediction there in just a moment, but first, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't miss any of our best bets all NFL season long, and while you're at it, smash that like button. If you are ready for some Thursday night football, I know I am. So without further ado, let's dive in to the matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Houston Texans. And the Eagles are two touchdown favorites here, minus 14, over under set at 45.5 at the moment. And the Eagles come into this Thursday night matchup with the best record in the NFL after taking care of the Steelers 35-13 last Sunday. Jalen Hurts continues to impress us, throwing for four touchdowns last week on the season. This guy has over 2,000 yards passing and rushing and 16 total touchdowns with only two interceptions. Now, despite Goddard and Smith both having over 30 receptions on the season and 400 yards, it is pretty apparent that A.J. Brown is Hurts' favorite target, especially vertically down the field. Brown, who has nearly 40 catches on this season, is averaging about 17 yards per catch, and last week he put up three touchdowns at 26 yards per reception. Add in the Eagles' rushing attack, which averages 150 yards per game, and you can see why this team is third highest in scoring offense in the NFL at 28 points per game. Now, the good news for the Texans is that their secondary is mediocre, and they just gave up only 55 yards passing to rookie Malik Willis. The bad news is that was Malik Willis and the Titans only threw the ball 10 times in that game because the Texans' rushing defense is awful. Last in the league, they gave up 186 yards per game. Derrick Henry had a day. This guy rushed for 32 carries. 219 yards, and he was averaging 6.8 yards per carry still after rushing 32 times with the football. It's just unreal. So the question is, can the Texans offense this Thursday keep up with the Eagles offense? Well, the Texans are 1-5-1 and one on the season, but five of the seven games have been close. They've been decided by one score or less. So Davis Mills and the Texans, they've been right there all season long. And Quite honestly, I kind of like Davis Mills. If this guy could limit his interceptions, he might be a starting quarterback next year somewhere in the league, if not Houston. In any case, though, this offense this year has been bad. They only put up 16.6 points per game, and with less than 200 passing yards per game, that is not a surprise. The bright spot, though, for them this year and for the near future is their running back, Damian Pierce. 530 rushing yards on the season, 4.5 per carry. Now they're going to face a top four defense as the Eagles give up less than 300 yards per game, less than 17 points per game, and less than 185 passing yards per game. And on top of this, the Texans, they've lost five of their last six games and have yet to win a home game this season, which would make anyone think that the Texans can put up points this Thursday. You'd have to be crazy to think the Texans can put up points. So what is our best bet for this Thursday night football matchup that is pretty lopsided here? Well, call us crazy because the Texans, yes, they have an awful offense, but they're constantly putting up one to two touchdowns per game. And this week they have an Eagles team who allowed 140 rushing yards to Najee Harris and that Steelers rushing attack. We're not saying the Texans are going to put up 30 points this week, but they should hit that 17 points per game average. And the Eagles offense is going to have a field day against the Texans because whether they pass or rush, the Texans are not going to be able to defend it. Now, the line is at 14 points. That's a bit high for us here with a Texans team that sticks around. This kind of feels like a 28-17, 28-20 game, and we're going to have to probably sweat this one out, but look for a field goal. About three minutes left to seal the deal for our Thursday night football pick, which is Eagles-Texans over 45.5 points. 
Now, just a reminder, if you're looking for our entire NFL Week 9 card, head on over to GrandstandBetters.com, become part of our family, and start living that grandstand life. But in the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy some Thursday night football between the Eagles and Texans, and we'll see you live for the game.